FizzBuzz, why it's used in interviews and how to solve it. In 2015, a team of three barred prison inmates beat the Harvard University debate team. Don't believe us? Look it up. This demonstrates two things. One, that a shiny degree in book smarts don't guarantee someone knows what they're doing. And two, that you just can't beat real world experience. So what does street smarts have to do with FizzBuzz? A children's number game and the cutthroat interview process in software engineering? Stick around and find out. Welcome to Kofi Group. We're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers on a direct hire basis with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York, and Austin. Our videos cover hiring tips and strategies for startups, software engineering, data science, interview preparation, salary negotiation, remote work, recruitment tips, and much more. Subscribe now for the latest software engineering and machine learning insights, invaluable hiring tips, and the best career building advice on YouTube. Also, make sure you stick around to the end as we reveal exactly how to ace the FizzBuzz test quickly. What is FizzBuzz? If you're applying for a role in software engineering, odds are you'll get a variation of the FizzBuzz test. Never heard of it? Well, in 2007, a self-proclaimed professional geek named Imran Ghori developed the FizzBuzz test as a way for engineers to more accurately quantify a developer's competence in coding. It's based on a game that school children play in the UK, FizzBuzz, where they sit in a group and each say a number in sequence. If the number is a multiple of three, then your child has to say fizz instead of the number. Likewise, if it's a multiple of five, they have to yell out buzz. However, if it's a multiple of both three and five, fizz buzz. The theory is that most attentive programmers should be able to write out a program that automates this process in just a couple of minutes. After all, it's a game so easy that even a child can play. Why fizz buzz is used. Putting someone on the spot and making them answer a series of intense questions requiring lateral thinking isn't the greatest tactic for hiring the right person for the job. Nor is picking out a candidate based on how much you like them and whether they're a good fit for the team. Yes, both qualities are preferable in an employee. But at the end of the day, all an employer wants to know is if they can code, solve problems, and actually do what they say they can do. We've all met someone who seems like they're solid at their job, they know their theory, and can have a discussion about the work. But when it boils down to it, they just can't deliver results. Imran studied these kinds of people in the programming and coding space, and really dialed in on what made them tick. He found that outwardly competent programmers who talk the talk but don't walk the walk didn't just struggle to code and make their way through complex problems. They got hung up on tiny problems like FizzBuzz and couldn't see their way past them. The Verdict Imran's research highlighted some alarming results. The majority of computer science graduates couldn't formulate a solution in code to this simple children's game of FizzBuzz. In fact, he witnessed programmers who had worked in senior software engineering roles take between 10 and 15 minutes to write up a solution on paper, and sometimes even longer. It's not that these people can't write good code, it's that they take a hell of a lot longer to get it done. In a business environment where time is money and there are milestone dates and deadlines to adhere to in the development process, you want the sharpest minds on the job, right? The sad truth is that 99% of software engineering candidates can't code their way out of a wet paper bag. Want to share some pearls of wisdom with other aspiring programmers? Type FizzBuzz in the comments below and tell us about your experiences. Also, keep watching to the end as we tell you how to nail the FizzBuzz and wow your future boss. What you need to know about FizzBuzz The FizzBuzz series of questions isn't designed to pick out and identify the really great programmers. It's more of a general screening test, a way to separate the exceptional from the mediocre, to weed out the weak performers in both a quick and efficient way before continuing the interview process. To give you a scope of just how ingrained this test has become in the industry, FizzBuzz is now the most frequently asked developer interview question in the world. Facebook and Microsoft use a version of it as a standard interview protocol, and it's being taught at Stanford, Berkeley, Caltech, and a long list of other universities. It pays to be worded up, so you're not caught out in your next interview. It could cost you your dream job. How to solve the FizzBuzz problem 
there is a super simple, straightforward solution to be used, but although it gives the correct results, it's rather naive and there is nothing particularly clever about it. So we add a few common software development practices to it in order to make it more elegant and impressive, right? DRY or don't repeat yourself is a principle of software design that eliminates duplication, removes redundancy, and overall streamlines code. Where terms like fizz and buzz appear more than once, look to make a case or rule to govern it. We've effectively insulated ourselves from bugs caused by code change in the future, as the more time a term exists within the code, the more chance of forgetting to change a term in a line of code. Parameterization can also be used to remove the hard-coded constants by turning them into parameters. In the FizzBuzz, this means how the range of integer numbers are covered, the output text, and the multiples that trigger the outputs. What if Fizz and Buzz numbers were changed to something like 1 and 7? Or another term like Faz added in? By using parameters to create triggers, the word term can be used as a divisor and the value attributed to it as an output string for the answer. We're not done yet. What if a completely new item were added like, when divisible by 7, say, tis? By ordering your parameters and having them act in order and as functions of functions, you can add in as many multiple triggers and conditions as you want to as a simple ordered string that produces a final output based on the parameters. Functional programming arguably produces better software and something you want to show you're capable of doing. We can build on the functional style of parameters by mutating the string just a little bit. The FizzBuzz function has side effects and prints out text every time it's called out. By getting rid of the side effects, we now have a pure function and the range is now changed into an array of outputs that are then returned instead of printed. The mutation itself can be removed and made more elegant by the addition of a trigger loop, where the map, filter, and reduce implementations combine to produce a purer function. But there is a better, albeit lazier way. For argument's sake, what if you need to calculate FizzBuzz to the billionth output? You'd run out of memory returning an array containing all the outputs. The key is to generate an output value, print it, throw it away, and then start generating again. By using an infinite enumerator, generating subsequent outputs can theoretically go on forever in a loop without running out of memory, giving you however many outputs of FizzBuzz as you like. It's not lazy, but more the case of the function doing the least work using the least resources possible in order to give you what you ask of it. Still confused? Check out the links in the description that go in depth and show how to tackle FizzBuzz using Ruby, Python, and JavaScript. We hope you enjoyed FizzBuzz, why it is used in interviews and how to solve it. If you learned something from this video, please click that thumbs up button and let us know in the comments if there's any recruitment, technology, or startup specific content you want us to cover next. We highly recommend watching our recent video on data structures and algorithms to be the first to see other amazing recruitment, employment, and startup strategy videos. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. At Kofi Group, we're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers on a direct hire basis with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York, and Austin. We help startups outcompete Fang, or Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, and Big Tech in the highly competitive war for talent. To benefit from a confidential conversation about your career and some of the best opportunities for software developers in startups, contact Kofi Group today.